A cone with perpendicular height 24 cm has a volume of 1200 cm cube. Find the volume of a cone with same base radius and height 84 cm. Take pi to be equals to 22 over 7. Solution. Now we know that the volume of a cone is equals to 1 over 3 pi radius square h. That is the volume of a cone. Now, from this statement, we can infer we can infer that the volume of this cone is proportional to the height. It's proportional to the height, directly proportional to the height. So if that is true, we can have that the volume is equal to kh. That is to say that we remove this proportionality sign and we bring in the constant. So that our constant k will be equal to v over h. So that is the relationship between the volume and the height in terms of this relationship. Now we are looking at uh, two cones here of the same base. So if they have the same base, which means we can relate them this way. We can now say that therefore, the volume of the first cone over the height of the first equals to the volume of the second over the height of the second. So we have this. Now let's obtain their values. We're given that the volume of the force is 1200 cm cube all over the second, the height of the first as well, 24 cm equals to. Now the volume of the second is what we are required to calculate for. So V2. The height of the second was given to us in the equation 84 cm. So 84 cm. Now, by the time we cancel some of the units, we'll be left with uh, this. So this, this can as well take care of this. That is, the unit can take care of unit. So we are only left with volume here, cm cube. Now, we can move on that our V, therefore our V2, the volume required of the second uh, cone, is equals to cross multiply 120, 1200 cm cube times 84. So 1200 cm cube times 84 84 now that's all over uh, 24 times V 24 times uh, V2 that will give us 24 V2 so by the time we make V2 subject of formula we have this now this will be equals to okay let's put it here since we have a little more space here now 120 1200 times 84 we are going to have, if we divide that by 24 at once, if we divide this by 24, or better still, if you go ahead and divide this, if maybe if maybe you just want to do it without actually using calculator much. Now, if you divide this by this, you have a value multiplied by 120. So if you say 120 times, uh, 1200 times 84, divide by 24, you are going to have 4000 200 200 cm cube so we can say that therefore let me write that our volume the second volume as required by the equation is 4200 cm cube please remember that the unit in science or science related subject as well is very very important so we have to indicate the cube knowing that it's volume so that is the answer to this question